we're going to take a look at a really nice tool called view dependent edits. So what a view dependent edit is, it allows you to go into the view and edit it. Simple enough, right? If I right click on my view, view dependent edit, I get this little box. And so it gives me some options. I can erase an object, I can, I can edit objects, I can edit shaded objects, or I can edit object segments. And then conversely, you can delete your edits. And then here's a really cool one we're going to look at in just a minute. But we can actually draw on the drawing and then have that go right into the model. It's pretty cool. We'll show you that in just a sec. So the first thing is the ability to erase objects. Where this comes into play is oftentimes you'll have a drawing, an ISO view like this, and someone will say, you know what, when it comes to those smooth edges, we don't want to see them. We don't want any smooth edges. So you say, no problem, and I turn them off. All right, that looks okay. But we've got these little extra little bits in there, and it can be a little confusing. So this is where a view dependent edit would come into play. I'm going to choose Erase Objects. And I can simply go in here and click on the items that I want to get rid of. And then they're gone. You can go through and get rid of any object that you want. So maybe it wasn't enough for you turning off those smooth edges. Maybe you also want to get rid of these somewhat sharper ones. Well, no problem. If you change your mind, this is where the delete edits comes into play. So when I choose that, you can see it gives me these nice options that I could uh, make some changes there. Now on some of this though, you might say, well, I need to have a little bit more information. I don't want all those smooth edges, but it's kind of hard to tell that, that this used to be a cylinder. Or maybe I want that little break line to go in there. Well, how do we do that? We're going to go back to the view and turn on smooth edges again. So the smooth, smooth edges, they're back on, and then I'm going to go and edit them. So view dependent edit. Here's where we're going to edit the entire object. So I'm going to uh, say that I want these little cylinders. I want to keep those there. So the first thing you have to do is set your objects. Do you want that to be a different color? That way you can know that it's different. For our purposes, we're going to say yes. We want it to be green. And then on the line style, well, let's go ahead and we're going to put it to solid. And we'll leave the width alone. So from here, we're just going to middle click to OK. And then we're going to go in and start to choose some of the objects. So you can just take a look. What are the other pieces that you might want to keep? We're just going to go with those three. Click OK. You can see that they're in there in green. And then when I go back to my settings, I turn off smooth edges. The smooth edges are off, but those pieces in green, they have remained. It's looking good, isn't it? Except for that. Why did that green line, why did it come all the way through? It's because we selected that line segment, part of which was hidden. This is where we're going to have to go back into our view dependent edit. View dependent edit. This time we want to edit subject, excuse me, edit object segments. It's kind of tough to say. I want to change the line style from original to invisible. Then I'll middle click to say OK. And I'm going to choose 
on this side, the green line, and the next thing is it's asking for a boundary. So I'll choose that as my boundary. You can see with the two stars that that's what's going to change. And I'll hit OK. And just like that, we were able to edit that segment. Let's right click again, view dependent edit. And just keep in mind that you can delete selected. You can delete the edits. Remember, that's what we did here. Or you can delete everything. So it gives you those nice three options. You don't have to be afraid that you're going to make some change in here that you won't be able to undo. Let's go into our shaded um, view. So view dependent edit. This time we want to edit a shaded object. And maybe in this case, I just want to edit these two cylinders. I'll change the color, sticking with that green. And just that quickly, you're able to add that shading. So if you wanted to have a call out or you just wanted something to stand out more, the view dependent edit can help you to do that. The next thing though we want to do is we want to actually draw on a view and then have what we draw on the view go to the model. To do this, I'm going to add another base view. And I want the right view. I'll take these other two views that we had made. We'll just move them over. And then we're going to draw in this view and move it to the model. To do this, we're going to actually go inside of the view. So we right click and we want to expand. So again, it's right click expand. Now here's the key. Once you click expand, don't rotate. Now I'm going to show you why. As soon as I rotate, you can see the view is kind of skewed because this is just a shot of the view. So if you accidentally rotate, the easiest thing to do is to turn off expand and do it again. So I'm going to expand and again I'm not going to rotate. I'm then going to add some text. So curve and points, text. I'm going to place it, my origin point, on the edge of my part. And I'll just move that up a little bit. You can type in anything. For my purposes, I just typed in left hand. OK. And now I've got that text in there. I'm going to right click turn off the expand mode. Then right click again, view dependent edit, and we're going to click on view to model. This is pretty cool. I'll just choose these two, hit OK, and they're gone. To get the text back, you'll notice that it's actually saying our drawing is out of date. Update views, there's our text. But if we go to modeling, there again, there's our text. What's cool about this is these are splines, so it's just a group. So you could go in here and extrude this if you wanted, subtract, you know, make any etches, or what have you. Let's go back into drafting. And then we're going to say that we changed our mind on this. We don't want it on the model any longer. No problem. Right click, view dependent edit, and this time we're going to say model to view. Choose those both. Okay. 
You'll notice out of date, so let's update and go to our model. And there we have it, it's gone. This is a really nice tool. I know that when I worked on a lot of um, medical devices, there were some notes that we had to put on to each of the drawing views, but nobody knew about that tool. So we didn't also put them on the model. Now you can. We appreciate all of your time and your attention. You'll notice we've got this little QR code, so you can scan that to learn more. Or if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. Thanks everybody. Have a great day and stay safe.